Jira project management software. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can, you know, use Jira and how you can use it to manage all of your projects. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, once you come over here onto Jira, the website is going to be called atlassian.com and it's a pretty weird, you know, domain name, but this is how it works. So just simply search for Jira and it should arrive. So over here, it's completely free. So you don't have to worry about it. There is a pricing plan, which I will get to it later on. Now, this isn't an in-depth video tutorial. This is just an overview on how you can, you know, create different projects and how you can manage it. It's not a complete in-depth tutorial. It's just an overview. So let's get into it. So over here, just simply click on get it free over here and you can go ahead and start using it for free. So over here, you have two options you have confluence and you have jira service management so over here choose whichever you feel like it over here if you use confluence you can add text to your project with a single source of truth whereas over here in jira service management you will be able to you know create developments and operations team to collaborate at high velocity so that they can respond to a business changes and deliver services and experience faster so keep that in mind so this is pretty much it these are secondary projects so you don't have to really choose them but if you want you can go ahead and choose them as well so just simply click on next and then over here just simply sign up with your email address or with google it all depends on you i'm gonna go ahead and continue with google and then just simply click on create your account and then over here you can add in your site as well so just simply fill out this form basically over here you can write in your project name so i'm just simply going to write demo demo or demo testing all right so it's already taken so let's just add in something else and then you can answer these questions so that they can you know know what you are and they can help you personalize your experience so if you want you can go ahead and answer these on your own but if not you can continue and then once you've answered your questions you can add in your team name over here such as the team management over here which is recommended so we can click over here and click on you know change type and you can go ahead and change the type you want for now we're gonna stick to the team management you know over here and then we can change the template as well so over here we have a bunch of different templates so we have the scran template we have the kanban i really like kanban so i'm going to use that template and i'm going to click on use and i'm going to select the team over here boom then just enter in the name of your team so we're just going to call it voiceovers and just simply click on create project and the keyword is going to be void and over here if you already use some tools now then they can help you later on so if you want you can go ahead and use these but you can skip these as well so for now we're just simply going to skip this i will show you how you can integrate them later on and then you just simply have to enter in the emails of your team so once you've added them just simply click on continue and then once you've done that this is how it's going to look like this is going to be your you know dashboard over here basically your roadmaps all right so we'll just close that up and boom this is how it looks like so over here this is your roadmap this is going to be your project name over here so if you wanted to create a new project just go back on click on projects and you will have all of your projects over here over here you can click on create a new project and then you can use the view the software development or you can go over here on the different templates and you can choose that so over for now we're going to stick with this one all right so over here this is going to be your boards you can create a issue over here now in jira issues are basically tasks or whatever you want to call it tasks goals you know it all depends on you and this is going to be your board over here so over here you're going to create an issue basically you know what needs to be done and then you can go ahead and continue on so over here let's just say we gotta add some tutorials right so google sites tutorial over here right we just simply click on enter we have one over here we add in one more let's say jira tutorial and we can also add like slack now over here since we added these three right now what is going to happen is whenever someone comes over here they're going to you know select their own task or you can you know assign them to this task yourself so over here as you can see you have your task over here you have your title you can add in a description over here you can assign different team members over here so over here let's go ahead and assign this task to this person you can add in labels over here so if you don't have any labels you can add labels as well so let's just say uh voiceover over here you can create a new label over here but simply click over here and boom there it's go and boom that's done um or you can go with you know unassigned or not completed you know or just simply click on non and boom there is no label there you go so we have this label it's non now over here if someone you know wants to take this task they're going to simply click over here assign themselves and then they're going to 
you know click it over here within progress and then they can change the label to let's say in progress over here and once they click on boom you are good to go so in progress as you can see and once it's completed they can move it over here into the next one where you can just simply you know change it to done over here boom there you go so it's done it's pretty much it that's how you do it so pretty simple really easy nothing too fancy but as i said before for you it's going to be different for you you're going to have different views for different project management for different you know issues and stuff like that so it all depends on you you simply go over to your template section and choose whichever type of work you want to do you know it all depends on you so this is pretty simple nothing too fancy about it now as i said before if you wanted to let's say integrate something to your project you know integrate another software like a slack or maybe google drive or google sheets well it's pretty simple you come over here at the top you click on apps over here and over here you will have a bunch of different apps simply click on explore more apps and you will arrive over here onto the app store or the app place where you can find different applications so you have time sheets tracking for jira time status over here you can find different pro options over here or you can search for it over here so let me just search for maybe like you know google docs so then you will have google drive or docs over here just simply click on the application and you will have the option to try it for free and you can go ahead and add it to your project so pretty simple nothing too complicated about it and that's pretty much it then you have your projects over here at the top you have filters you have your dashboard then you have all of your team members over here so everything is uh, as simple as that nothing too fancy and as i said before it's going to be different for you because you're going to have you know different projects to be done so over here this is going to be you know an epic over here on roadmap right so over here you know epics are basically like tasks that your client wants all right so over here if you create an epic like let's say uh make a hundred videos so that's gonna be an epic that you're gonna need so over here this is gonna be assigned over here this is gonna be you know create an epic and over here you can assign people over here and uh, you know you can add your deadlines as well everything is pretty simple nothing too crazy over here and then in the boards you will have your you know all of your boards as i said before so then you have project settings over here where you can access the project settings over here you can create different categories and put it into a different type of category then you have issue types over here you have tasks epics and subtasks so since for now we want so we'll click on tasks these are going to be our issues as well and then you have your automations as also well. over here you can create different automations so for example let's say if you want a you know rule or you know project rules so you come over here click on project rules over here or you just simply click on browse library and over here you will have a bunch of different you know uh, automations pre-made so over here when all stories are completed then close epic boom you can do that or when an issue is resolved click on comments when parent is done move all when a comment is made when a branch is made on all of that so automations are helpful if you you know need them you can go ahead and turn them on as well so pretty much that's it that's how you use jira software as i said before nothing too crazy i didn't go into the complete depth of it this is just a simple overview on how you can create a project and how you can manage them and you know view your boards change your boards create different boards as well so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.